get that paint bucket. Go okay, you know, paint bucket is the most worthless tool ever. I've just got to re-scribble everything anyway. A little bit of shading going on here. What the what? What? Oh, but, uh, but, uh, why is Google Drive trying to sabotage me drawing a thick Pikmin? All right, and finally, the finishing touch. <laughs> that is my impression of base. And then I saw his name was Thickman. To prove I'm not a clout chaser, I've scrolled down to the very last reply that I could find. One, so everyone gets a fair shot here, and two, it's a Tails. And what am I if not a Sonic? Now here's the thing, I've done plenty of art videos in the past of drawing on programs. Normally I'll use old twisted brush here. Ignore this. Now we have a bare bones program with virtually no tools. Can't send an email. Don't make me send Thickman. Because this program's so basic, we are going for ultimate realism. Today I will prove that I am not only just an internet funny man, but I will also prove myself as a village idiot. And so I'm breaking out the Wacom for this one. I'm not using a, a mouse. What do you think I am, petty? I'm focusing so hard right now. On this, on this one line. I cannot get this line. This is, this is terrible. This is, I can't, I can't use this. Why is it easier with a mouse? I'm just in too deep. Been using a mouse for too long and now I know I know nothing else. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Honestly, what about this is so difficult? If I were in MS Paint, I could do this easily. What did I just say? You need to draw one part, zoom in, just carefully work on it from there. As long as the line work looks good, everything else, the shading, the coloring can look terrible. It's MS Paint, so it's going to anyway. And we are. I'm not looking at you, ignore me. 36 minutes in. Wow, whatever I just said before this clip sure was stupid. But did you know that you don't need to withdraw your 401k in order to edit videos? Filmora is a loaded, easy to use editing software. And even if you don't record yourself drawing on a 35 year old paint application, video editing is an important skill to learn even if you just use the internet casually. Look, I made this rockin' Twitter meme using Filmora 9. I live forever and have unlimited sauce. And I was given a key to the city. Just kidding, I made that in Filmora too. It's preloaded with tons of effects. You can add even more from the filmstock.com. It doubles as a screen recorder and there is no time limit to the trial version. So download Filmora today using the link in the description. No more redos. We're making progress. Sharpen the lines out. This is how to use MS Paint. I wanna show people how to use it. Otherwise people say it's clickbait. And then that hurts my feelings really bad. I mean, condemning people for clickbait is basically like saying, hey, you should probably get fired if you ask for a raise. It's not at all like that, and that's a bit of a straw man, but it sounded smart in my head. Problem is, if I draw a good line, I stop about halfway up so that I don't accidentally mess it up towards the end. And that can apply to a lot of parts of life. Sometimes you're doing things good, and so you ease up. You ease up because you're worried you're going to mess it up, and then you look back and it's like, why did I do that? This is looking quite good for an MS Paint. We're good, we got this. You know what? Newfound confidence, let's go. Oh, I feel like I could do surgery with how steady my- Son of a gun! I'm gonna delete Google Drive, ruining my Tails picture. For context, since I'm gonna be fast forwarding most of that, doing that hair alone took me about, don't stop, stop looking at me. 23 minutes. <laughs> I'm not doing another realistic one ever. I'm just gonna just draw on Emma's paint. But we're in too deep with this one. We have to we have to close this out. This has to be the greatest piece of artwork ever made at this point. I'm a legend. Not because I did anything special. They just don't know if I existed. That was another thing that sounded way cooler in my head. Oh, it's entirely acceptable. I spent so much time on this. <laughs> not much left for outlines. Once we get to the coloring, I'm not gonna have as much of a problem. He's got his wrench. It's right about here. Here's what's about to be stupid, is drawing a straight wrench. Oh, that's a beautiful line. Oh my goodness. I would marry that line. Okay, don't get me wrong, the lines are jagged. But dang, that's, a, that's about the straightest MS Paint wrench I ever seen. And that's the line art. Oh, it's been an hour, 10 minutes. Now let me just, in case it crashes. 
unfinished. I've put so much work into this MS Paint scribble that I'm backing it up. Paintbook is working okay? I think it, it recognizes how much work I've been putting into this and that it needs to function correctly or I'm going to have a heart attack and die on camera. Lighting is coming from... somewhere. Dude, I did it. I friggin' I, frig I did that. That's how I did that stuff. Boys, I just... That's it. That's the whole thing. How far are we? Oh, I'm looking at you this time. It's been an hour and a half. Tails Fionished. Fio I'm not trying to say this is that much of the bee's knees, but for MS Paint, this is the beesiest knees you'll see. Yeah, I'm retweeting this. Don't you judge me. I only have an hour left of recording time on the camera, so you just, you just let me be. Oh, look at this. Simple, simple colors, simple lines. Doable, hecka doable. This right here, that's a hecka doable picture. Holy freaking flips, you punk bass fishes. We're not we're not gonna take our time too much with this one, but at this point, I don't even care if this next one's absolutely terrible. I'm still riding the high of the last one. I do have a very soft spot for Jet Grind Radio. It is one of my favorite games. I only played the first game that came out, but aesthetically, I absolutely love the series. This looks kind of goofy. It's got a very early 2000s vibe to it. Very over the top. Music by the same dude who did Sonic Rush. Dreamcast really did have some early 2000s, very late 90s vibe games to it. I mean, most consoles from that era did, but Dreamcast especially. Think Crazy Taxi, think of this game. Even SA2 has a bit of that vibe. Yurt. Uh. Uh, so, you know what this reminds me of? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this. The drawing looks more like this ugly cartoon than actual Jet Grind Radio, but uh, it is fine. Jet is fine. Is that how you spell crooked? I don't really care, to be honest. I used to animate in MS Paint. You poor soul. Hey, Mario! <laughs> now to recreate MS Paint. What? Oh, hold up. What if I, oh. That's what we're gonna do. All right, first we got this stuff up here. We got the little little MS Paint logo. Red and some green and some yellow. This little line right here. There's a purple floppy disk. Why, after all these years, are they still using floppy disks as symbols to save things? The kids will never know. Swoop around. Curved arrows mean undo. This always means drop down menu. I don't know why. It's a little crooked, but it is fine. Paint bucket, I don't care, we're, we're speed running this. A snazzy art of a clipboard. That's another one, why does clipboard always mean paste? Pretend this doesn't say gobby. What part of me decided, hey, you know what would be entertaining to do for a video is if I just started drawing MS Paint in MS Paint. Like, I know it was a request, but sometimes I'll base those on what I think people would enjoy watching me do, and I don't think many people would enjoy watching me do this. Like, I'm gonna zoom out, and the payoff is, is... quite average, to be honest. I mean, it's meta! The Inception fans will get a kick out of this. This actually does look pretty accurate to this. <laughs> like, if you squint your eyes, no balls, he says. No balls. Oh. All right, we're gonna need to stretch this one down a little bit. If you don't know what video game series this is from, I don't blame you. It's very niche. If you don't know who voice acts this character, I blame you. How can you call yourself a Sonic fan? If you think this character looks a little bit horrifying in hindsight, you're normal. And if you think... then your brain works. Now that I'm actually studying its design, I'm extremely confused. If you were to ask me, Peter, do you think video games cause violence? I would show you this character and say, Ha! <laughs> what do you think? Not even I know what that means. What is this hat? Why do I have to draw it? Well, at least I'm not on the tirade of everything has to look dead on realistic at the moment. This would actually take four hours. Why? Just... Why? This is so colorful. Oh my gosh, this design. There it is, I regret nothing. It may give some people nightmares, but he said no balls. 
and I had to prove that I do own several circular objects. Referencing, of course, to this Kirby. Okay, we've got 21 minutes left of recording time, so we're gonna have to scoot. I feel like this would look really good in MS Paint. How... how is it getting weirder than this? We really do live in a sus. Alright, we'll begin with the general head shape. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use the special method of... Mm, I don't know what anything's called. Somehow those disgusting scribbles are... are details. How, you might ask? I don't know, maybe they won't. I don't know a thing of what I'm doing. I just go in here, I pick a color, and I do what I can. Sometimes, it's Shrek, you know? Sometimes I'm just making a fool of myself. And sometimes he's got a middle tooth. He's Tom Cruise. Shut up! But whether it is something degenerate, or some... something... Like Shrek, not degenerate at all. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. And sometimes when you don't know what you're doing and you're working within the realms of restraints of your own skill, that's when the beast comes out. That's when your true talent will unveil itself. And you create something truly unexpectedly beautiful. Now such is not the case, this is done and uh, shrunky. And that's, that's it, I'm not doing more. I'm, that's, uh, yeah. And that's it. And now if we could just take a moment to acknowledge the fact that this tweet that I put no work into and is simply asking for you to send me random pictures gets far more interaction than me actually trying to be funny. And when it's all said and done, it's all been done and said. I, uh, I, uh, I, I updated Pikachu.